In this video, I'm going to show you how to access the examples at the Swing Tutorial website. I'm at the main page for the tutorial, accessed from the link in the lesson. Keep in mind that there are many other examples and good explanations at this site. Take some time to explore when you get here. I found the lesson using Swing components to be very helpful because it covers all of the components in one place. And this also has the link to the examples index. When I click this link, I get a table of examples. I usually click launch in the first column of the demo that I'd like to run. It always tells me that it could harm my computer, but I'm going to say I want to keep it anyway. The first time that you launch one of these web start examples, it will ask you if you want to trust the files from Oracle. I said yes, so it's not going to ask me now. When I open it, it actually shows me the application and I can learn about the different styles of borders. Notice the wavy lines here. Those are done with a GIF file, which I would need if I wanted to run this on my own and use that border. I can also download the source files or just click on the file and have it display in my browser to look at the whole thing. Or I could download a project, which is actually a NetBeans project, but it contains all of the resources that I would need in any IDE, the source files as well as all the images used. What I found most helpful, though, is this Where Described column. Let's say I want to learn how to use buttons. And I don't know exactly what kind of button I want. I'll just click here. And there are a bunch of different buttons that I can learn about. I can go to the documentation. A lot of the demos that would have shown up in the left column with Web Start, I can also look at now. I can see what the application looks like. I can click the Launch button, and it will actually run it. And then it gives me partial code and explains it. As I go through, I might get some ideas, check boxes. That's not even a button, but it's here. When I click Launch, same thing. When I run it, I can see how it works. And I can set up this guy however I want him to be. Again, the code is here. Radio buttons, and so on, as well as more documentation. So that is my favorite one. Something that I really like, I might just copy the code and try it in my own IDE. Of course, then I'd need the image files. Anyway, use this page to have some fun and learn a lot.